Hello, everyone. This is your Sunday evening KR2E.com webcast. We begin with meteorologist Jason Laney. And not a lot of change from Sunday into Monday as far as the weather is concerned. All areas of the state will be warm in the afternoon, although it could be kind of cool in the north during the morning due to the dry air. Meanwhile, down to the south and east, there's still some moist air in place. That won't be changing. That said, southeast could see a few spot afternoon showers and storms Monday, becoming partly cloudy mid part of the state and up towards the northwest. Lots of sunshine to start your work week. Thank you, Jason. Less than 24 hours after a fugitive convicted child killer from the Curry County Jail was featured for a fifth time on America's Most Wanted, another Curry County Detention Center inmate escaped and then got caught. 25 year old Bobby Owen slipped out of his handcuffs and escaped from a detention center guard early this morning. According to the Clovis, Clovis News Journal, Owen was last seen running from the Plains Regional Medical Center. He'd been taken there on the advice of emergency responders who had been called to the jail after Owen said he had hurt himself after slipping and falling. Owen slipped through his restraints and escaped at about 3 a.m. while on his way back to jail. He was caught about 1 o'clock this afternoon. Owen was arrested Thursday for multiple counts of burglary. His girlfriend now faces charges for helping him hide today. Our producer for the TV show America's Most Wanted says yesterday's feature of Wanted Child Killer Edward Solace generated numerous tips last night. Solace is one of eight men who escaped from the Curry County Jail a year ago this month. He is the only one of the escapees still on the loose. Curry County DA Matt Chandler tells News 13 investigators are now following up on the new tips. Calls have been pouring into our newsroom today from viewers concerned about a wildfire in the Manzanos. The smoke is not from a new fire. It's from the main fire that's been burning on Defense Department land south of Tejeda since July 23rd. But when you see these photos, you'll understand why people are concerned. The main fire still poses no threat to any community. Karen Takai from the Cibola National Forest says it's heading west. The closest community to the fire now is Tejeda. Takai says the smoke is worse today because firefighters are spraying the fire. The smoke Got worse about three o'clock today when the, they've sprayed the fire again. Four Corners residents can see smoke from the Cabresto Mesa fire. The fire began Friday afternoon. About a hundred acres have burned so far there. Forest officials say the fire's progress has been minimal over the last 24 hours. The fire is burning primarily timber about 60 miles northeast of Bloomfield in the Carson National Forest. No structures are threatened. What caused the fire is still unknown. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Tim Maestas. Thanks for logging on.